Well, coming to you from an undisclosed location. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to our, uh, uh, like every Friday, our RV chat Q&A. And um, as I hinted in the, in the title of the chat, the new CD has arrived and arrived. And here we are, and hello to Alex who is uh, driving home and shouldn't be chatting here, but uh, hey. <laughs> and uh, Eric, this traveler, our, our um, mighty moderator, some random dude, hello there, lion fan, hello there, uh, from West Palm Beach, all right. Well, I'm here and back there, what you see is uh, all the CDs that are ready to ship. I'm gonna take them to the post office as soon as we finish uh, here. Uh, chatting with you guys and um, Black, Brian Blackburn from, from Clearwater, Florida, West Coast. All right, and current traveler travels. Uh, hello, Mr. Morales, ready for another class on traveling and good music. <laughs> well, it's great to, to have you all here. And uh, Mujor, Mujor Swedagen, hello, hello there. Where are you from, Mujolner? And Mark 98, and Andy, and Rick Lovato, and uh, Colombia. Oh, I'm uh, talking about IPA. Uh, Alex Cruz uh, just uh, showed up here by my house and brought me a beer that I'm going to open promptly. And uh, we have uh, Octavia. Hi, Robert. How are you doing? Happy Friday from North Carolina, and happy Friday from uh, Miami, Florida, no less. And um, actually, let me. Do something real quick. Something I did last week and it worked out quite well. I can open. Uh, give me a second here, because when I when I put it when I put the chat on my left hand side, it always looks like like I'm looking away from the camera. But if I put it here on my right hand side, my right hand left, yeah, my right hand side, it looks like I'm chatting with you guys, which is uh, much better. Did you get a comment saying that someone loves your video when you go north of 985? Yes, I did. Is that you? Uh, Buffalo, New York in the house. I'm from Tampa. Kathy's Creative Live. Good evening from London, the UK. And from Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I can't wait to go to Boston. Maybe September, October. From West Palm Beach. Eddie, 411. Uh, I'm very close. Less than two hours away. By car. Uh, what place do you really want to go one day? Well, I want to go back to Alaska, for sure, in the United States. And uh, in the world, I would love to go to Australia someday. But there are so many places. This is the, just two random places that just came to my mind. But of course, uh, last week you had major buffering issues. How is it happen working today? I'm at, I'm at the RV. I'm actually further away from the hotspots. And it seems to be working uh, fine right now, so knock on wood, uh, cross your fingers, do whatever, but it, it looks like it's uh, working pretty good. And uh, Alex Cruz says salute, and of course, I have an empty glass here from uh, Wynwood Brewing Company. And uh, let me show you. Uh, uh, let me move the computer this way, Alex. And I have it here in the freezer. You know, my, my RV fridge is not quite a... Oops, what? It's not quite cold yet. I just turned it on like two hours ago. And you know this uh, uh, um, uh, convection... No, how, what do you call this? This uh, RV refrigerators? Absorption. This absorption refrigerators, they take a while to... Um, to and Luana retracted the message. Hola! Lubitsa Rodriguez, saludos desde Denver, Colorado. Well, saludos. And uh, what I have here is a Wynwood Brewery, Mr. Crawler. And I guess uh, here they, they put the, 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 the bottling or canning date and what it is. And this is um, Wynwood IPA. And uh, the cat is out there. You know that we have this random cat that comes to the house. And I decided to name him Alberto. Just because I had a friend, or I have a friend, I haven't talked to him in a while, but his, his name is Alberto, but everybody calls him El Gato. 
So I, why not name my gato Alberto? That sounded like a fitting name. And that's what I did. And, uh, okay. It's, it's, it's not as easy to open as uh, some of that. Are you on the road right now? Not yet. Uh, uh, current travels, not quite yet. But I'll be soon. Maybe tomorrow we'll go somewhere. Oh, I'm making a mess here. Whoops, the head. Hold on. Ah, this is not quite as cold. Let me get a paper towel. Hold on, guys. I don't want to make a mess here. Ooh, and uh, I'm sorry if you can hear a little bit of noise, but I have the air conditioning on because it is Miami. And it is already 90 degrees out there, or at least it feels like 90 degrees. So I have William Storm from Bruges, Belgium. How are you, sir? And uh, and the trips of, of Elder and Leticia. Hi, Robert. Do you see this? Your CDs. Yes, I did. Check them out. That's the new CD. Actually, let me show it to you. Because actually, first, salute, cheers, skull, everybody. Yeah, this is the good stuff. So when you when you at this this time I went all out with pictures. This picture on the actual CD is actually a frame from the latest California video from the sunset. I just took a 4K frame and and put it there. And this, of course, is a frame from the video that I took with a drone. That's in the Ogilvy Road BLM landing in, in it's actually in California. And this right here is in the Coconino National Forest. Just uh, it's kind of like halfway between Sedona and Flagstaff. It's actually closer to Flagstaff. That's where that uh, location is. And of course, that's a video that I'm editing, editing right now. And you're going to see like in two weeks. Hopefully. Uh, it's hard to edit the videos when you are so like far away in, in time. Because you start forgetting stuff, you know. But the way it is a draft, so it is fresh. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Alex. Cheers. And uh, it always tastes better when it's draft for some reason. It is 83 in Columbus, Georgia. Well, I'm definitely going to have to take my, my generator when I go north now. 78 today in Erie, Pennsylvania. So I guess it is it is getting warm everywhere, huh? Who is Chuchi in one of your songs? Well, Chuchi is a good friend of mine. He's a trumpet player. He plays a trombone. He plays the flugelhorn. He's, a, he's an all-out, uh, very well-rounded musician and a veteran. He's one of these guys that you just hum the melody to him and, you you, you know, you don't really have to uh, have the, the papers. He just plays it. It's, it's amazing. It, it's actually amazing to have him in the studio. And you tell him, ah, do, a, do a harmony, and he just harmonizes the, the whole... It, it's... I wonder who the co dude is on the cover on the, on the CD. Yeah, he doesn't look like me, right? It's that new iPhone, the pictures, it, it takes, the pictures don't, don't look like, <laughs> uh, can I get one of your CDs, Octa Octavia, 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 uh, yes, for sure, it's uh, uh, travelingrobert.com slash stickers, because when I created the page, I only had stickers and I didn't have the, the fourth side, the site to, to call it uh, travelingrobert.com slash merchandise or something like that, I, I might, I'm going to make a, a forward eventually, but yeah. Travelingrobert.com slash stickers and uh, you can get it there. The World Cup is in Russia. Which country do you want to win? Well, I'm not really into into sports, really. All that much, but I like actually the United States to win. You know, it's where I live. Um, I will contact you sometime next week to buy your new city. Thank you so much, Elder. Uh, I might not be here next week, but... Uh, yeah, get in touch with me. I'll get you one for sure. 32 in Alberta. But now that is that 32 Celsius or centigrade? I mean, Celsius or Fahrenheit? And, uh, the, the Adventures of Apple and Rob. Oh, yeah, we're enjoying Hollywood IPA. Okay, I, and your message just went off the screen. From Somerset, England. One of our favorite visits to US, USA is Sedona and uh, to Flagstaff. Yeah. That, that is an amazing uh, road right there. And uh, Corinne from Orlando and Alex t told me the temperature, but I... Mm. Grandma Patty is here, everybody. Say hello to Grandma Patty. Where have you been, Grandma Patty? <laughs> hey. Oh, you, you, you've, uh, you've been missed. 
<laughs> Everybody's been asking about the grandma party. Um, Lake Magic RV Resort, nice place. All right, Norbert, that's good to know. I'll take a note because Orlando is right there, and I'm, we are overdue for a visit to Orlando. Actually, I think still the the the, the Flower and Garden Festival is still going on in Epcot. I would like to go. Gary Gary from New York. Uh, nice to see you. Thanks for your time making videos. So you're welcome. Juan Huerta, where are you coming to Texas again? Well, that will be uh, next uh, winter. Next winter for sure. Let me actually, let me go back because... Uh, -do -do. I did, Grandma, we were worried. Yes, we were worried. Uh, uh, can you please text me the address so I can get the CD? I'll put it right here. That should work. Actually, no, I don't think I don't think it lets me put a link there. It does it. I wonder if I put the HTTP s colon slash lies traveling Robert dot com slash stickers. Connection is not private. Yeah, but it sh you should t you should be able to to tell it to to go uh, anyways. But it's not found. I'll put it in the description of the video later. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> anyways, where where were we? Where were we? Uh, Grandma Patty had pneumonia. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. And Jay Long from Cyrus, Ohio. You inspire my wife and I keep the great bees. Thank you so much, Bosire. I met someone from Bosiris, Ohio the other day. He was here in Miami. And we passed through there on our way from Cedar Point uh, back south, on our way from, from um, Sandusky. Can you please? Uh, da, da, da. From Romania. Hello, Romania. 39 Fahrenheit in Hamilton, Ohio. I mean, Ontario. It's kind of cold there still, huh? Well, Grandma Patty, I hope you're you're feeling better. Uh, uh, yeah, everybody had been kind of worried about you here, and I'm sorry, I'm I'm a little behind on the on the on the chat. You know, it, it takes me a while sometimes to read, and if I elaborate on something. Uh, greetings to you and your family from the Hamptons, and maybe we'll visit the Hamptons in the fall. You never know. That comment was my third uh, channel. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the comment about the, the R95 North. Uh, when are you making another Jensen Beach video? You know, that's it's a, it's a good question. Maybe I, now in the summer, uh, in the summer, maybe, I, maybe I'll do something when, I, when, I, when we return from, from that uh, Finland uh, trip. Uh, I, I, I might do a Jensen Beach, although there are so many places that I haven't been to that uh, sometimes it's hard to like repeat but Jensen was nice it was a relaxing weekend for sure I would love to do that and Kevin and Becky Pitchard how are you guys doing long time a video of the cruise down Miami River was well done looks like you were able to get Technomadia back on the water yes uh, that, it was a lot of fun meeting uh, Chris and Cherie very very nice uh, folks and uh, you know, I was able to translate for them you know I, I actually didn't do all that much to be honest about it because it was just like uh, take the engine to 1500 rpms um, el motor a 1500 revoluciones por favor and back and forth that kind of thing you know just uh, a couple of maritime things and uh, and uh, and he asked me because we wanted to, to, for them to open the, the drawbridge and they were as, asking me to ask the mechanic if that happened often because we were waiting there asking for them to open the drawbridge and nobody answered the radio. So the, the, the mechanic guy told me, ah, se, se quedó dormida, seguro. She fell asleep. That kind of translation. Not a whole lot more. A stormy and rainy Missouri. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's, it, 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 two days ago, we had like the, our first real rainstorm here in months. 85 in North Carolina. And uh, Stefan, can't wait for the Sunday video. Oh, Sunday video is going to be nice. And current travels, remove the S from the HTTP and the link works. Okay, there you go. 
Yeah, somebody from GoDaddy called me the other day that my my server was not HTTPS and that I should pay for for the secure server. Maybe I'll do it, maybe not. Oh, from Dhaka, Bangladesh. That's probably the furthest we have today so far. Although, one of these uh, envelopes back here is going to Australia, believe it or not. Somebody from Australia. Uh, or the CD 32 Fahrenheit in Canada. Well, I don't really know the temperature right now in here. Inside Minitini right now is 78.4, even with the air conditioning on. That's what my thermometer says. I have a thermometer. Uh, uh, greetings, uh, Robert, from another Robert. Come to New York. Yeah, New York. I'm going to New York in September, October, around that time, some sometime. Have you been to on the Metro Rail? I haven't been on the Metro Rail in a long time. It's been years. I've been on the Metro Mover, but not on the Metro Rail. Uh, getting a cold front on something uh, on Sunday or something like it. LOL. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, in Miami, a cold front is good news. Uh, in, in up north, maybe not as much. From England, UK, it'd be great if you uh, can, came to Blackpool in England. The weather is terrible, but it'd be a good trip. And it's a weird place. Blackpool, huh? Maybe I will. I re actually, I really liked... I, I was in the UK for, what, four, four days, four or five days. I, I'm mostly in London, but I loved it. And, and uh, it feels foreign, but at the same time, it's it, 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 they speak English, so it feels. And, uh, and in the end, the United States came, the, the culture came mostly from there. But it feels foreign, foreign, but it feels uh, very similar at the same time. So I really liked uh, the UK, and and the people uh, were very nice, all of them, showing some signs of buffering issues. Oh man, don't tell me that. Uh, it's only 80 in Homestead, Florida. Juan Huerta, burning come away, Cuba. My wife and I wife, watch all your videos. Hope to have our own mini soon, just for chilling and getting away purposes. No videos. So, yeah, it's 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 a great way to travel and chill out and and, and you know discover the, the nature and the, uh, we've dis discovered so many places right here in Florida that we, we lived in in Miami all all our lives and we never. They were actually got a Miami-Dade County for the most part. You know, we, we traveled abroad and we traveled like to faraway places, but we never explored our own state. And that's that's something that we've managed to do uh, with Arabic. Because mainly because we are stuck here in South Florida. It, it, it's, it's, really, it's a really long way to travel anywhere. And Ron Fugere is here. Hello, Ron. How are you? How's Sarasota, Florida? And Eddie, hola Robert, nos gustan mucho tus videos de cocina. Mil gracias por el tiempo que nos dedica. Well, por nada, you're welcome. And he says that he likes my cooking videos. And, uh, and uh, yeah, how old were you when you purchased your first RV? I was 43 years old. Magnolia Beach, down in the Texas Gulf Coast. Beautiful spot, spots for, for RVing. Yeah, I got. I gotta go to the Texas Gulf Coast, and I, I have so much. To, I, I, I put my Texas sticker here in my map, but I didn't really see much of Texas. Cologne, Germany. I was right next door in Dusseldorf, and I did take the train when I was there, and I, and you know, I just saw Cologne from the train station, but it has this big church. It's beautiful. I gotta go back. Uh, definitely, and uh, 75 degrees here in Indiana. Oh, wow, and, and, and I thought I was going to hit some cold weather now when I went north. Hi, Robert, is Minitini your first RV? Yes, it is. Uh, it, it was my first RV. We bought it almost uh, about, about three and a half years ago. Before then, we, we rented a couple of times, but that can get expensive, so... Denver was a great video, Christopher Van Grant. Thanks for from Austin, Texas. And I was so close to Austin when I was in San Antonio now recently. And and, the, and it's one Austin is one place that intrigues me a lot, and I do want to go there and have some barbecue. Hola, cómo estás? Cómo te llamas? <laughs> uh, some random dude. I'm Robert. 
and I'm doing great. Uh, when are you coming to North Carolina again? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna pass through North Carolina on my way to to the Northeast in uh, in the fall, and I and I would love to stop at a couple of places for sure. Is it possible to make an oxtail cooking video? You know, I've never made an oxtail, but I love to eat it, so I might look up a recipe. And in the end, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's what you put in it. Greetings from Saint Helena. Come to visit. Now we have an airport. Saint Helena. I just just watching a video from somebody from Saint Helena. Oh, Delos sailing. You know that they have a sailboat. That's you know what that's one of the most isolated places in the world, uh, the, the island of Saint Saint Helena, and I would love to visit Saint Helena. And there's another island even more isolated to the south called Tristan da Cunha, and both I would love to visit. Colne, have you visited? Have you visited Colne Dom Cathedral? No, I haven't. I've seen it from the train station, from the train track, but I haven't. I I, I didn't get off the train. Thank you for your great videos. You inspired us. Just picked up our 2015 Class C today. Well, congratulations. And a Class C, a small Class C or a B plus is what I want to get in the future. Eventually, anyways. Um, Marsan Worldwide. I loved your Alaska video series. Went to Fairbanks in February to see the Aurora. And it was amazing. Yeah, I went in the summer. It never, it never got uh, dark, so I couldn't see the Aurora. But yeah, I, 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 that, that was a long time ago. That was eight years ago when I went to Alaska and did the Dalton Highway. And I can't wait to go back. I, I, I would love to go in Minitini, the trailer, actually. I don't know if Kia is going to be able to tackle that road, but who knows? I might get a truck for that in one or two years. So whenever Kia decides to give up. You said you were 43 when you got your first one, and this is the first one that you had. A, so you're really only 46. Wait a minute, I was born in 71, so technically I'm still 46, yeah. Although I'm almost 47. Now you're talking barbecue, yeah. Uh, I guess we're talking about Austin, right? Yes. Uh, Colombia wants you to cook raw and sentido. Yeah, I know, man. I never cooked it, but uh, do you like tortillas? I like tortillas. It depends which tortillas, because in Spain, a tortilla is an omelette. But in Mexico, a tortilla is like a flat bread, so I like both, actually. What are you drinking, Robert? Well, today, if, uh, courtesy of our friend Alex Cruz in the chat, we have a growler of Wingwood Brewing Company, and it's the Wingwood IPA, which has 7.2 uh, uh, alcohol. So if, I, if I'm drunk by the end of the broadcast, it's Alex's fault. Uh, the Kia, that Kia of yours is a beast. You should get paid by the company. Yeah, everybody tells me the same thing. I don't know if I should call uh, Kia. Maybe they'll, you know, they'll want to sponsor the podcast. That would be good. <laughs> you know, as you drive RV, do you have license to drive a truck? Or you can, or can you drive a truck? No, it's just a regular driver's license. I don't think in the United States you need anything special. Uh, especially because I am really driving a uh, an SUV, a, a car, you know, yeah, towing the the trailer. The first couple of times, I, I probably shouldn't have been allowed to do it, but now I'm confident I know what I'm doing a little bit. Uh, ale or lager? It's an ale. It's an IPA, which stands for India Pale Ale. So it is an ale. Uh, can I get a shout out for my wife, Amanda? She loves your channel. Hello, Amanda. Hey there. Cheers. Uh, Robert, your videos have inspired me to purchase a Guanabago. Guanabago is another another one that should sponsor me, by the way. And, you know, they're wasting they're wasting some uh, uh, um, publicity potential here, <laughs> right? By the way, I uh, Guanabago is not a sponsor. I just happened to purchase one, and and I kind of like it. I'm retired Air Force, and we'll hit the road soon. Yeah, you got the Mini Twenty Four Hundred One RG. Those are nice because they're they're longer. And most of them are feet wider than mine. This is only seven feet wide. Some of them are are eight feet wide, and, and it makes a hell of a difference. Random dude, adios amigo. Adios, adios, adios. Love your videos. From Harry Harris Wentz Family Adventures. I'm losing my eyesight here. Heading to the Grand Canyon and Lake Powell in June with the RV. Oh, that's a great, 
Great trip. Are you going to do north rim or south rim? I mean, you could do both. They're kind of equidistant to the to Lake Powell, so I don't know. It is, it is the moonlight in Key Largo checking in and saying hola. Oh, moonlight! Of course. Uh, look, really looking forward to staying with you guys in Key Largo uh, sometime in May, if, if, if possible, if at all possible, for sure. And we'll make a video, and it'll be great. And we'll fly the drone. And can you please send a shout out to my wife, Nuris? Hello, Nuris. She lo In Joplin, Missouri, from the UK. Hello there, Ben1313. All right, Alex. Uh, we live in a class A, and no, you're not required to have a different uh, license to drive it. I feel like some of the larger RVs, perhaps you should, but it really is not required. I mean, you can drive a semi, which is a, it's a super C, which is basically a semi truck with a with a structure behind it, and they don't they don't really uh, require anything. So, Lucia Chaparro, good night from Gijón, España. Good night. Yeah, it is uh, 11 no, 10:23 p.m. in Gijón. No, 11:23 p.m. Is, is it now five hours or six hours? I, I don't know if you guys have changed the time or not. So, what are you going to Northeast Niagara Falls and Bar Harbor? Acadia are, are great. Well, Niagara Falls, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to do Niagara Falls in this trip, but Bar Harbor and, and Arcadia for sure in early October or mid October, sometime ar around there. We'll do uh, that part of the country for sure, which I've never been to. So, I have a bunch of blank stickers in my map that I have to put. Hi, Lord Robert. This will be the second time I come to Florida, but this is the first time in November. How's the weather in Fort Myers area at that time? Which is the best place to stay in the Miami area? I don't know. I've never really stayed in a hotel in Miami, so I don't know. I mean, the best, if money is no object, probably South Beach. But in reality, you probably want to stay uh, at a hotel and, and probably near the airport or somewhere else and just rent a car. And, uh, and, uh, Actually, probably a date land, and you can take the metro, the metro rail to downtown. That would be a good area too. And the weather in November, it could rain. You could get a hurricane. I mean, it's you never know. The weather is, but if memory serves, it rains a lot in November. How's Ileana? She's in. She's in the house. She's doing great. Uh, have you ever visited Asia? No, I've never been to Asia. I've been to. North America. I've never been, even been to South America, to be honest, which is kind of shameful, but it's in the list. I've, uh, I've been to Europe and I've been to Northern Africa. If you, if the Spanish colony of Ceuta counts, yeah. Kurt, Southern Florida is mostly hot and humid. We don't get cold weather until January, February. Yeah, uh, definitely. Ajax, Ontario. It's probably clean, right? Isn't Ajax that stuff that you used to clean? So, <laughs> bad joke. Never mind. <laughs> South Rim. Yeah, South Rim is the best uh, uh, part of the Grand Canyon, in my opinion. In my opinion, the best view is probably from Mother Point or, or one of the uh, one one of those points in the South Rim. It's incredible. Can you please send a, send a shout out to my husband, Tony? He loves your videos. Hey there, Tony. Shout out to you and cheers. How many states in the United States have you traveled to? Have you almost visited nearly all the states? Not really. I'm about halfway there. Let me see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I've actually visited 25 exactly. So I have 25 left. Just long way to go run future most campgrounds closed in New England by October 15 or oh, really are you serious Ron I'm gonna have to boondock and uh, it's, someone wrote something probably very nice in Cyrillic but I cannot understand the Cyrillic alphabet so um, thank you and thank you so much Stacy for that uh, super chat a free driveway surfing in historic Midway. 
We'll send email with ideas for around here. Love to meet up. 45 minutes west of Elville, Louisville, Louisville, 10 west of Lexington. You mean east of Louisville and west of Lexington? Well, great. It, I'm going to be in the area, so send me, send me there. By the way, since you are from the area, next weekend there's supposed to be this big event in Louisville with fireworks and an air show. I would like to know how to attend that event because I would love to make a video. And I don't know if you can... I haven't made my my, my uh, research. But um, I'm sorry, I got distracted with the chat. Uh, but I would love to like park somewhere and be able to, to watch the show and take video. Algonquin Park in Ontario anytime soon. I don't know. I might be in Ontario in October, but not certain yet. I'll be up there as as, as long as the weather is uh, warm enough to RV, and then I'll make a beeline south at some point. Did you ever look into getting free my RV hoodies? I'm sorry, Ted Wong. I have totally forgot about that, but I'm going to look into that. What are the envelopes in the back? Those, you mean? Those are CDs waiting to be shipped. As soon as I finish uh, chatting with you guys here, I'm going to go real quick to the post office and drop those off. The, the, the Amazon box is not a... Amazon is... Somebody ordered three CDs, so I put them in a box. And thank you, Grandma Patty, for that super chat. You know, you know how much I appreciate uh, your super chats. And even if you don't super chat, you just the fact that you are here chatting with me, it's, it's, it's always great. And let me let me see something real real quick. Live dash, dashboard, 119 watching. That it's almost a record, I think. And um, yep, I grew up in New England. Oh well, I guess mid October I'm gonna start have to start heading back south. Run. Uh, that that same thing happened to me in when I was uh, out west. Now in the in the winter in February, I'm like. You know, I have no no idea about the difference. I'm from South Florida, so I go to uh, I go up to, to to Flagstaff, which is in high elevation, and I see there's snow on the side of the street, snow, and I'm like, I was not expecting this. Uh, Robert, do you prefer campgrounds or boondocking? It depends. It depends on the campground. If all campgrounds were like Red uh, Top Mountain in Atlanta, in the northwest of Atlanta, Georgia, I prefer campgrounds all the time. And, uh, but uh, boondocking is, is nice too, especially in the desert. And no, I have not watched Duel, I don't think, a 70s film. No, I haven't. And uh, it's pronounced Warg. Warg with a G at the end. You know, Ted, I uh, my eyesight is is not so good anymore. So uh, I thought it was an N and not an R. So Ted Warg, I'm sorry about mispronouncing your your name. And there's someone here. Uh, I can't stand this political advertising people. Uh, thumbs up. Hey, Grandma Patty. And Bay Boater 415, thank you so much for that super chat. Waiting on my CDs and hoping to fly, fly, Pelican fly, t-shirts. If that box with the three CDs are going to Fleetwood, they are mine. They probably are, man. Let me see if I can get it out without. I'll tell you right now. Yep, that is your box. <laughs> and thank you so much for that super chat. <laughs> um, I can listen to your album on Spotify. Yes, you can, except I forgot to put one of the songs in the album. <laughs> but I will at some point. In the in the Spotify album, I forgot. In this one, uh, the, the I mean, if, if you like EDM music, you know, like uh, writing in my RV EDM version, I forgot to put it on Spotify, on the CD that went there. So, uh, run. I'll be in New England from August until October. We'll have to get together. Well, uh, in yeah, definitely. I'm, in September, I'm going to be at the Hershey RV show. So, um, 
yeah, we'll plan something out. I would love to meet up with you again. I, I was looking for you at the Tampa show in, in January and and we never bumped into each other. What is the longest you have ever boondocked? That must have been Quartzite. I boondocked. Let me think. Because I cheated. I, I made a dump. But I was three nights in Quartzite and then one night at Ogilvy Road. So that would be four nights... Was I three nights or four nights in Quartzite? I think I was only three nights. So four nights, yeah, is the most I boomed up. It's not all that much. Saludos desde Oklahoma, another Oklahoma, another state that I do want to visit at some point. Uh, Super Westmount, uh, how do you like the push button lock on your RV? It's fine, except that it makes this annoying noise whenever I open and close the door and... Uh, yeah, I wish they had a mute button. Otherwise, it's it's very convenient because sometimes I don't want to carry my keys around, and especially if I'm at a place with like going to the pool or whatever. Yeah, the show is called Thunder Over Louisville. Yes, if you go there early, it's a big show with lots of people. Yeah, I, I'm 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 I'm, I'm I, I want to plan ahead and see. It, it would be great if there was RV parking nearby. Come to Louisville. It's going to rain, though. Oh, don't tell me that. Well, I bring my umbrella. Can I download your CD, right? You can download. Yeah, it's uh, it's everywhere. All my music is everywhere. Just search for Robert Morales, and it's on um, iTunes, Amazon, uh, whatever you buy your music from. How far are you from South Beach? I'm about 12 miles, which is what, uh, depending on the traffic, could be 15 minutes, could be half an hour. And thank you. Uh, Faison Bakam, is that did I pronounce that right? Uh, for that super chat, really appreciate it. And Robert Wasta, thank you so much uh, to you also for that super chat. I really, really, really appreciate it, guys. And um, uh, Octavia, Octavia, where is the best place to camping? I don't the, 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 where exactly because there are so many different places. I, I really like the West because on the West you have a lot of. Uh, uh, you know, BLM land, Bureau of Land Man Management, which is free camping. So, uh, Alex Cruz. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention, but yeah, I got your super chat at the beginning. I wasn't even live yet, so but I, but I did. Thank you so much, man. I, I totally forgot to mention it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Are you having? Uh, are you happy to have him purchased a Winnebago? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. I've, I've made a lot of modifications to this RV along uh, the years. But, uh, yeah. Thunder over Louisville. It's crazy. Recommend parking just anywhere. Throw a camp chair over your shoulder and start walking toward the river. Okay, sounds good. You should recognize my name. I comment on all your videos. You usually reply, but a lot of people sometimes, maybe you don't. Do something, maybe you don't. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I, I remember your name, but it, uh, somehow I, I I always thought it was an R instead of an uh, I mean, I, an N instead of an R. No way. Are you going to buy a new RV soon? And what kind? Um, not soon, but eventually we want to go to a B plus and just uh, Google um, Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS, and not that one exactly, but something like that. I'll be glad to help if you need to know anything about New England. Email me and I'll give you my cell number. Oh, thank you so much, Ron. Yeah, definitely. I have a list of places to go, but I've never been to New England. So um, anything, any any information will help for sure. You said my name right the first time. <laughs> uh, I just bought your CD. Oh, you did? Yeah, actually, while we've been chatting, I've gotten a... Okay, I see you there, Ruben, and I and I also got a purchase from Sherwin. And one is in Texas, and the other one is in Georgia. Oh my mind! What do you do before as a job? Before you do YouTube full time? Well, I've done a couple of things, but mainly I did office work at a at a 
it was a TV station, but I didn't I didn't know any, anything creative, anything to do. I just did office work and uh, and uh, at sales and that kind of stuff. Uh, I like making videos a lot better. New York or Los Angeles? Oh man, that's a difficult one, but I have to say New York, just because you know, East Coast. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. Uh, New York is more of a European style city. Uh, LA, of course, has its charm too. And, and when it comes to natural beauties, it's, it's more beautiful. But New York is, is the city, man. Well, when will you upgrade your Kia and what will you upgrade to? Uh, Ford F 150, when I can afford one, basically. Um, yeah. Uh, Wondering if you sell out uh, your CDs in one to two weeks. I don't know. I still have about half. I've sold almost about, about 50, so I have about, about half. And uh, I'm not going to be able to ship any CDs from from now, from the 16th until like the 20th, or uh, until like the, on the, the 30th. For those two weeks, so those orders, if you order a CD, I'll just ship again on May 1st. Because uh, unless I can find a printer somewhere in Louisville, somewhere where I can print labels. Uh, well, yeah, as I said, I've sold about 50. Enjoy your videos. Very educational. Thank you so much. And uh, gotta go. Have a great weekend. You too, Rick and uh, Amy Clark. How do I get that t-shirt? Well, it's, uh, isn't that same website? Um uh, travelingrobert.com slash stickers actually if you type also freeinmyrv.com it should take you to the same place we love that you love making videos much better uh, so we get to enjoy them yes I'm really I'm really grateful that, I, that I'm able to do this Robert get the Ram 1500 is that the one you have, Alex? I don't know. I've always liked the, the, the Fords, but I know that the, the Rams are great, too. Uh, I don't know. I'll, um... Wait, is, is this paper towel clean? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to get yet. By the time Kia dies, I might be able to, to get the, the Class B+. Plus. So I'm, I'm not... Uh, but I want to get something that can tow... Uh, this trailer comfortably so something that can tow between five and eight thousand pounds for sure viajando sin rumbo una cerveza enjoy um, thank you muchas gracias thank you very much viajando sin rumbo una cerveza and salud and uh, let me go back uh, because I uh, Robert sorry I'm late uh, New Hampshire Joe hey Joe how are ya <coughs> your CD is back there. Back there is your CD. Uh, Racist in Cuba. Yes, Eddie. Uh, uh, I was born in Cuba many, many years ago. <laughs> um, how long uh, it takes to to ail your vid out? To all. Oh, for it to all your vid. I, I don't know. It, it takes a long time to edit. I'm right now three videos ahead I'm editing Sedona uh, and after Sedona we have Route 66 and after Route 66 we have uh, uh, Albuquerque and after Albuquerque we have the road back home but uh, there's uh, the White Sands National Monument and uh, San Antonio so uh, but it, it takes me about three days to properly edit a video if that's you know it's about an hour per minute you see on, on the on the screen Ram 1500, better pulling power and GPM, my Ford was a dog. Okay, so I guess Ram is the consensus, right? What is your favorite IPA? Oh, there's so many. Actually, this this uh, um, this one from um, from Wynwood is, is very good. I like uh, Cigar City uh, from Tampa, the High Alley IPA. I like, uh, I like Funky Buddha. And there's so many that sometimes I forget the names. I just get the IPA. I ask for at the bar, do you have any IPAs on top? And they say, yes, I, we do, okay, give me that one, and then I forget the name, and I like it. Um, but yeah. 
Can you share your YouTube progression? What's the beer tonight? Oh, Joe, tonight, as I just said, Winwood Brewing Company, Alex Cruz just brought it over about an hour ago. It's an IPA. Very nice. By the way, you guys noticed that today is Friday the 13th, right? Uh, I wanted to try fish tacos. Are they good? I like fish tacos when they're well made. Some some places they just put a little lettuce and the fish. And, uh, are your merchandise available on Amazon? No, they're not at this moment. I have an, Am an Amazon affiliate link, so if you click on any of the links in my video, I get a little bit of a commission if you buy something else, but I don't have any of my merchandise there at this time, except my music. Available for download. Uh, that's the one I'll have next time I'm over. Check it out. Uh, Chevy better than Ford. LOL. You know, it's it's like Mac versus PC, I guess, with with uh, trucks. I don't know. I've never owned a truck, and uh, but eventually I'll, I'll I'll get. By the way, I think on Monday I'm getting the the air suspension on, on old Kia because it's being the, the rear suspension has been sagging a, a lot. Does everybody know you have a podcast as well as YouTube? A lot of people do. I, I don't promote the podcast nearly enough, but yes, I do have the podcast as well. And uh, someone is late in Texas. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, pilot, pilot, pilot Diana. Do you use the generator on your last trip? How did the generator hold up? Well, so far, so good. I've, I used it uh, out in, out west in out west in, in Quartzsite, and it worked fine. Yeah. The Colorado ZR1 4x4 V6. I would love to get something 4x4 because I love to go off-road as well. But not like hardcore off-road, like, but, you know, dirt roads. That, uh, and I, I don't want to do the Dalton Highway at some point. So 4x4 uh, would be very nice. Uh, most people do not know all of Robert's creative things that he does. Well, thank you. I, I, sometimes I don't, I don't, uh, I guess I don't advertise myself as much. Is that an IPA you're drinking? Meet me. I'm, I'm buried with a road trip mojo at Waney. Next week, I will bring the hope, the hops. Did you get to Santa Fe? Yes, I did. Briefly. And uh, I made a big mistake. I went there in the morning and the place was deserted in the morning. Uh, as I was leaving, uh, it started to... I, I, my, my planning kind of sucked for Albuquerque and Santa Fe. I did both. My plan was I, I, I wanted to do Santa Fe in the morning and Taos Pueblo in the afternoon. I should have done it the opposite way because by the time I was driving to Taos Pueblo, I was tired of walking in Santa Fe, so I never made it to Taos Pueblo. I, I went into the mountains because I wanted to see these uh, rock formations. And um, then the road was closed. You'll see it in the video in about a month or three weeks, maybe, uh, whenever I finish editing that. <coughs> Jeff Foster, a bunch of travel music CD. I like it. Oh, thank you very much. Grandma Patty, I would say something about the 13th, but I don't want to be jinx. You know that, as I mentioned in the podcast this morning, 13 has actually been my lucky number, believe it or not. Uh, in, in, in Spanish, at least in Spain, the unlucky day is actually Tuesday, the 13th, not Friday. And I came to the United States from Spain on Tuesday, uh, December 13th, uh, 1988. So that was a very lucky day for me, and since then, the 13th is my lucky number. I'm going to Washington, D.C. in a few days. Any good places to go while I'm there? Well, Washington, D.C., I mean, you just... Uh, my, my favorite place there is the, is the Air and Space Museum, just because I'm a, I'm a space travel geek. But there's so many things to, to do and to see and do in, in Washington, D.C., Actually, we stumbled upon this very high-end restaurant called The Occidental. And uh, that was... It, it was very expensive and a very pleasant surprise. Make sure your RV has a Cummins engine. I've seen a tornado chaser with a vehicle built around the Cummins engine and its heaviest tank, okay? Robert Tico, do you remember in the 80s when South Beach and Wynwood were slums? Well, Wynwood was a slum until not so long ago. And South Beach, I when when I arrived here, it wasn't a slum. 
it was on its way, you know, in the late 80s. Yeah, it was still kind of a slum. And in the early 90s, it started to, to, to become what it is today. But yeah, in the, in the early 90s, we, we, we could rent a hotel room relatively cheap in South Beach. Uh, Angel Torres, a few friends and, uh, and myself are looking into the Hershey show and I was uh, wondering if you can tell me where I can go dry camping near the show that is close to spending nothing. I don't know. To be honest, I'm staying at the KOA in, in there. Uh, a, a viewer, um, a Red Jaguar, he's, uh, he's invited me to stay at the KOA with him. So. That's what I'm doing. I have no idea. I haven't done research on the area yet. And Octavia Barber, my kids say hi. Hello, Octavia kids. Have you been to Washington State? No. And that's a bucket list. Next year, I have to go to Washington State for sure. And, uh, and uh, visit uh, Nomadic Fanatics Stomping Grounds. Or not. I want to go to some of the, so, some of the parks. And, and obviously Seattle, and obviously uh, so much, so much, so much to see. Santa Fe is really beautiful. Yes, it is. It's it's a unique. It has a city that has character. It's unique in that it has all this adobe style uh, uh, buildings. But again, I, I my timing was was not that great in Santa Fe, but it was fun. And thank you, funny boy, for that super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And um, and uh, Jonas Neumann, or Neumann, from German Germany. Have you been to Hawaii yet? Uh, it would make me make me happy about a video. I haven't been to Hawaii yet, and I think that's gonna be the last state. That's gonna be state number fifty, because I want to do the lower forty-eight first. And I've already been to Alaska, so Hawaii I'm gonna save for last. Which means it's going to be like in two or three years, or maybe two years. I don't know. I wanted to do the lower 48 before I turned 48, but I'm already 40, almost 47, so it's, it's starting to look iffy. We are the Russos did a tour of NASA video. Yeah, I would love to do that kind of tour. And they got a, they got a, um, uh, they got a private tour, which was uh, really, really jealous. But, yeah. Andrea, say hello to you and Ileana. Hello, Andrea. Uh, you are married, right? And your wife doesn't travel with you. Why not? No, she, she travels m most of the time. She didn't on this last uh, trip. She, she just doesn't like to be on camera most of the time. But yeah, we travel together. Considering the cost of campgrounds these days, do you think traveling by RV is more economical than staying in motels and hotels? Well, it still is. I mean, you have, you have to factor in the cost of the RV. But, uh, for example, a hotel in Key West is $250 minimum. And you can get a nice site of season at, uh, at Boyd's Campground for like 80 bucks. So It really depends where you're going to go. You can get campgrounds in some places for 20, 30, 40 bucks. Where can you get a hotel nowadays for 40 bucks? And just saying hi, and I like your shows. Thank you so much, Amar. Habib. I'm so looking forward to spend half a year uh, at least on Hawaii, the other half, uh, half island, hoping around the Lesser Antilles. The Lesser Antilles is a, is, is another dream of mine. It's if someday I get crazy enough to, to get a boat, I would love to do the Lesser Antilles. You know, starting... Puerto Rico. Well, maybe someday I could even start in Cuba. Go to Haiti, Santo Domingo, Puerto Rico, then the San Tomas, St. Martin, Dominique, Martinique, you know, all the rest, all the way down to Aruba and Venezuela. I'll, I'll end at Isla, Isla Margarita in Venezuela. That would be an awesome trip. What's your next mission trip? No, the next mission, I don't understand the mission part, but uh, we're going to to Kentucky in less than a week. 
and Angel, Angel Torres, Angel Torres, thank you so much for that super chat, man. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. And you say thank you for all your videos that have helped us. I'm sorry, a lot being that we are newbies to RVing. Hope this helps a little to continue seeing your entertaining videos. And it does help, man. Every, it, you know, it's everything helps. And um, and I really appreciate it. This, um, yeah, that, that'll go for gas uh, for, for this next trip coming up for sure. Uh, Joe Proto, Walmart, 6528 Carlisle, Pike, Pennsylvania, near Hensley. Oh, Hershey, okay, that's the, that's uh, boondocking near Hershey, okay. There you go, we always have a, a crowdsourcing here like they call it nowadays. Uh, when you do another video in Palm Beach, I, um, I will soon. Uh, Grandma Patty, gotta take the kids. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for being here. Welcome back, Grandma Patty. Really appreciate you being here. You are like a staple here in the in our chats and our weekly chats every Friday. Um, and Palm Beach, I don't know. I, I do I do want to go back to Palm Beach at some point. It's it's really close to here. So maybe maybe this coming early winter we can we can go back up. My thoughts on RV traveling versus motel hotels is really depends on the person. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I would agree with that. It depends because you can spend uh, in a luxury campground as much as you do in a hotel. But then again, once you start RVing, sometimes I find hotels so impersonal. And I don't know. Do you have power wired to your GoPro on your camper so you don't have to change the batteries? No, I don't. I, and eventually I want to have a, a GoPro up, up there in the, on the roof wire to some kind of 12 volt maybe when i wire for the wi-fi ranger that i'm getting soon i'll get 12 volts up there on the roof and then i'm also i'm also probably getting a, a, a backup camera by the way all, all promotional items but anyway and uh, i would love to have a 4k camera up there so but the gopro no i have i have an extended battery it lasts over three hours so i don't really have to go up there all that often but I usually just, uh, whenever I go to a rest area or anyway, I stop every two or three hours anyways. So I just go up there and change the battery. Uh, Red Jaguar, we were just talking that about you, about boondocking in, in, for, for the Hershey show. The weather has finally gotten better in RVing here in the area in Pennsylvania. Uh, George W., happy travels, Robert. I have to go. Okay, George, thank you for being here. Yeah, Red Jack and Grandma Party with Whistler. Um, Jim McLean, come to Southern Illinois, Garden of the Gods, a cave in Rock. Big I don't know if I'm going to make it to Illinois in this trip. Uh, I might. You never know. I might. I might go crazy and drive west. It, it all depends on the weather, really. How, how, when does it start get to get really bad, really cold in October, you know? And I know it's different every year. This year that passed, winter came like in November. But you know, I'm going to stay up there as, as long as the weather holds up, basically. So if, if, if I can make it back all the way back to Michigan, I will. Ted, uh, definitely look into those hoodies. Thanks. I would love to buy one. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to find out how much I can, I can, with the company that I use, so how much I can sell it for. I wasn't entirely happy with the one that I bought. It was kind of faded, but I mean, it looks okay. Are you going to St. Petersburg, Florida? Actually, no, I don't have any immediate plans to go to St. Petersburg. Uh, not until the winter, um, maybe not even. I don't know. I had a mojito in honor of you and all your great travels and sharing videos. Thanks, Robert. From Gator Dwight. Well, thank you so much. And uh, is that beer good from Octavia? Octavia. Uh, well, this one is very nice. I'm actually starting to get a little buzz, which I may, I may have. Uh, I may have my wife drive me to the post office. Uh, Eric, this traveler, when I was in Pittsburgh in 92, by mid-October it was getting cold, rainy and just too icky. 
Well, if it gets back bad, I'll just make a beeline south. I just wanted to see the fall colors, really. But, uh, can, hi, can you shout out my name? Thank you. Liberty Daimetulak. How about a historic St. Augustine video? I actually have two videos in uh, St. Augustine, none of them encompassing everything. They're old videos, though. One of them is part of my first RV trip. It's called Road Trip by RV, I think. And we even drank from that nasty water at the at the Fountain of Youth. But no, I have not made a comprehensive video of St. Augustine. Maybe now on the way back from Kentucky, we'll do something like that. Which KOA in Hershey? A Red Jaguar. Uh... Oh, Red Jaguar, you will be on my Patreon starting Monday. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, all, all the support from you know from everybody, uh, and uh, which KO is it in Hershey that we're staying at Red Jaguar? I um, it's it's the Hershey KOA, right? It's, it's are you on every Friday? Yes, I am on every Friday, as long as I can find internet and buying enough bandwidth. Every Friday at six p.m. Eastern, I'm here uh, chatting with you guys. Usually for an hour, sometimes a little longer. It depends. I'm, I'm really surprised the internet has held up so well today. Because sometimes it doesn't. The fountain of youth water is more like a fountain of yuck. I agree. The water tasted funny. Yeah, it's not the best water. I mean, I drank it. Obviously, it didn't work. <laughs> Uh, greetings from Vienna, Austria. What are you doing up, Vienna, Austria? Thank you so much for being here. Actually, let me tell you, uh, you're not the, 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 the one of those boxes, I mean, envelopes back there is going to Australia. And that's the, the furthest I've ever uh, shipped anything. So it's pretty cool. Robert, when, can, when you can, please, uh, Alex Cruz. You said it before, but what video editing software you use? Uh, Final Cut? Yes, I use Final Cut. And I just... I made a big mistake. I upgraded to the new version of Mac OS. It's called... Uh, I had like Mountain Lion on this machine. I have now a High Sierra. And everything is slower. That was, that was a big mistake, upgrading to, to Big Sierra. Because I wanted to upgrade to the new version of Final Cut, and now all the icons are in a different place. It's kind of annoying, but I'll, I'll make it. But yeah, I use Final Cut Pro for video editing. It doesn't have everything I need, but it has most of the stuff that I need. And for the, for the graphics, sometimes I do the maps with the red arrow going to the different states. Uh, for that, I use a Motion 5. And to record the audio, you know, when I speak really close to the microphone like this, so I sound, you know, very intelligible and the, the, for that I use uh, Pro Tools I have a various version of Pro Tools that I've had forever you know since I had the recording studio so that's it Robert when you can please do some video of Pernil de Cerdo Asado te lo vamos a <coughs> I'm sorry yeah I should do it maybe for, for maybe for Thanksgiving or Christmas I'll do a, a Pernil de Cerdo which is ma ma basically a Cuban style pork roast I actually have in my archives I have a video that we took on the 4th of July, like two years ago, of a baracoa style pork. And this guy, you know, usually you had to, to turn the whole pork like this. Well, he invented this. It's, he's a trumpet player from the band that I used to play, Papito. And uh, he invented this machine that the pork, you know, turns by itself. And he said that it's, it, it's just, they, they, they don't even put salt in the pork. It's, it's the, the natural flavor of the pork. You know, um, through through the nutrition of the pork. You know, it's it's. I'll make the video soon, and uh, I'll probably release it for Fourth of July. So, uh, stay tuned for that one. Oh, I have to say goodbye from San Diego, California. I'm sorry I didn't see that, but goodbye. Uh, Hershey, Elizabeth Town, yes. Uh, good evening, I'm late, better late than ever. Hey, El Big Rican, welcome. Better late than never. Uh, no internet freeze this week. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm actually f 
further away from the router and it's working great. Uh, St. Augustine, we're going to stay at Anastasia State Park. Oh, I'm so jealous. I want to stay there at, at someday. Supposed to be a beachfront gem. Last time we booked, Irma hit. Oh, yeah, Irma, Irma was a, a bummer for everybody, wasn't it? Did, any suggestion from Microsoft? Uh, if you if, if you really want the top of the line for Microsoft for, for Windows, Adobe Premiere. It's like 20 bucks a month using the Adobe Premiere CC, whatever, CS, Creative uh, Creative Cloud, uh, Creative, whatever it's called. It's 20 bucks a month or something like that. That's the top of the line. That does even more than what I have. Did you learn any Wi-Fi tricks from Technomadia? Well, actually, let me tell you an anecdote. We, we, we were talking about that, and uh, the consensus is that Wi-Fi is crap everywhere. They recommended that I that I use a, a Wi-Fi Ranger, but really, if you really want to upload videos, you cannot depend on none of these Wi-Fis unless you want to spend a long time uh, uploading. And uh, they recommended, actually, they made a video a couple of days ago about this antenna. It's a MIMO antenna, MIMO, or MIMO, I think it's probably. It's MIMO stands for multi-in and multi-out. And if you have a, a wireless router in your RV, an LTE router, this MIMO antenna will work almost as, as good as, as my uh, as my Weboost, according to them. So that's pretty much all the, all the inside knowledge I got from them. But yeah, the consensus is that Wi-Fi is really unreliable. So... Um, Power Director normally runs for by 250, but I got mine for 60. I have never used uh, Power Director. I'm sorry, I, I'm a little behind on these uh, uh, comments. Uh, but I, I, I've, I've heard about it. I just heard that, that uh, Adobe Premiere is like the industry standard. It's like, I mean, above uh, Adobe Premiere will be uh, something like what they use at TV stations or to edit motion pictures, which is uh, Avid. But Avid is thousands of dollars. So, no. Lechon a la varita is the best. Yeah, I agree. And this guy is from the eastern, from uh, Baracoa, which is the easternmost town of Cuba. I'm, I'm going back now, like 10 minutes ago in the chat. But that's the video I'm going to put it, and it's, it's going to be called Fourth of July Pork. A papito style or something like that and I took that video many years ago and I just found that, that project I never published it and I'm gonna edit and this is this might be disgusting for some people but they, they get the, 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 the Cuban or Puerto Rican style rice and beans you know con gris. and they put it in you know they, they take all the organs out and they put it inside the pork and they sew it the pork back together and that cook uh, that, that rice and beans it cooks with the pork fat as you're cooking the pork and then you take those rice and beans out and ah, the taste is magnificent uh, also music and videos thank you so much Mark Dish any good beer recipes um, I just drink it man <laughs> like Alex said <laughs> Are you going to sing us out? I don't see the guitar. No, I didn't bring my guitar here to the to the RV. And current the travels, you retracted your message. I wonder what you said. Well, I'm gonna have a little bit um, more beer here before I get uh, tips here. I'm gonna save this for Eliana, and um, and we're gonna call it a night. It's starting to get dark out there. Sunset. Actually, I have my. I have my awning on, so it's even darker, but I think you guys can see me okay. I didn't even bring my, my good light. <clears throat> oh, Joe, you like eating your beer, too. Uh, we have Os Oswego Speedway here in, I think, there, there's camping there, but I have never been there. Okay. Eddie, thanks, Robert, for this hour with nosotros. Well, you're very welcome, and Karen wants me to say, fly, pelican. I said interesting on the feelings for the lechon. Yeah, that's uh, it. It tasted great. I mean, I, and after a few beers, you know. 
I'm gonna post that video. I'm, I'm gonna make a note in my calendar. Fourth of July this year, and that was fourth of July probably three years ago. And it was all the people from the band, the band that hasn't played in like a year. <laughs> Every time we play now, it's like a reunion because really there's no market for for large, uh, big salsa bands in Miami anymore. Uh, this, but your IPA may be getting to your speech. I think so too. I've been talking nonstop for over an hour, or so this is. Uh, I'm, I'm normally a very uh, quiet guy. I don't say much. Normally, unless I'm here chatting with you guys. All right, everybody. I'm gonna sing you a cappella. Then, why do you want me to sing you? I'll sing a. Uh, I could sing my theme song or I could do something else. Because I don't have the guitar, so I don't need to know the chords. And nobody's saying anything, so I'm just going to. Say, riding, riding in my RV. <laughs> you are so nice. Great role model of how to be happy and relaxed. Well, thank you, Denise. Uh, I've seen videos of you playing at restaurants. Do you still wear? Would love to go. No, I haven't done that in a while. That was about two years ago. Uh, Benny More. Oh man, Benny More. I could do. Uh... Este amor tan fatal que atenas a mi mente. Esta fiebre de ti. Oh, that's like a portavena, you know, like cut, you know, that's a depressing song. Anyway, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to sing anymore. I just uh, want to wish you all a very, very nice uh, weekend here. A happy Friday. Naturally, it is the 13th, but, you know, just, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a good, um, it's a good thing to be here, and it's a good thing that, to have the weekend ahead of us. And I will see you next Friday on another live video. And if you haven't ordered my CD yet, let's put a quick sales pitch here at the end. It has all my, my good music. And uh, eventually... Oh, Feliciano, mozo, sírveme la copa rota, sírveme que me destroza esta fiebre de obsesión. Good night, guys. Have a nice weekend.